Welcome to another episode of Honda Civic. Oh, <laughs> guys, get in the back. Welcome to another episode of Mighty Civic Mods. Today so we're good Civic, Martin. Why didn't we do one of these 10 years ago? We did. Um, but this is a different one. This is an EK1 Civic. Oh, um, and it smells. It's really yuck. But we are, we are thoroughly enjoying picking our way through this thing. We're learning Civic things. We're learning Honda things. We're learning to understand how all this stuff works. Um, it, what, is, what is that? It's a Federation of Automotive. It says everything you need to know. Oh, this is like a, this is this new automotive movement, this automotive viral movement, movement car it thing. It is, dude. Okay. It's a thing. It's a thing. And it's international. Yeah. Okay. What I do want to show you is we got quite a way through our Civic last time. We got all our suspension-y bits in the back. The back's just about good to go. The front, we put our arms in. It was a little bit challenging, but we got there. And now the only thing missing is brakes. And we worked out that we needed some we got braided lines. discs. We got braided lines. We're waiting on those to show up. And we have now got our braided lines. We've got some Honda CRV calipers, yes. which is a cheap and cheerful big brake conversion, similar to what you can get off some kind of Honda Integra thing. Apparently, it's the same size. The CRV is a mad donor car, isn't it? Yeah. There's all sorts of good bits all in it. All sorts of good stuff. So we've got some oh, lines because we that. had no actual brake lines to suit because this car was a drum brake rear. Now it's a disc brake rear. So we can plug all that in and actually use our brakes. And then our car's a roller again. Yes, and once the car is rolling, that's when it's time to power it. We're going to be powering it down here with our B16. We're going to start working on the engine, people. We're going to yank the engine out of the ground. We're going to pull the gearbox off, check that that's all good. We've got a new clutch to slap into it. Where is it? Oh, here and it is. And then the engine is probably the most mysterious piece of the puzzle because there's stuff that's broken on it and an incomplete wiring loop. It probably doesn't even work, let's be honest. Other dramas, yeah. There's a few other things that we're not when really When you buy a car about. off Facebook and it comes on a pallet, you know that's worrying, don't you, Martin? Beware. So today we're going to work that out, but first we'll quickly slap our brakes on just so that our car is a roller. That way, if it's in the way, we can push it out. Yep. Um, and then we're going to get the engine using the crane up onto an engine stand, yank it apart as best we can, and see what we're dealing with. Learning all about the Hondas. I, we should have done it 10 years ago, Martin. We should have. We're so late to the party. We did. Yeah. But sort of. Now we're back at the party, but we're all old, and we weren't invited. <laughs> So, we're going to get work and doing the brakes today, but the smell, man, the, I just can't get over, it smells like an octopus's pubic area. You reckon? Yeah, you know, it's, it's just, it's that wet, wet amphibious kind of low tide. I've heard you describe it as froggy. It's a froggy gooch. Are you going to get a spray? The question is, do you want linen breeze <laughs> or garden breeze? Now it says, what does it say? Do the blah blah blah, always test in you a going small... There. Test in a small area, Martin. <laughs> oh, God. Fix it. Please fix it. Oh. It's snowing. There. Well, it's snowing, now dude. We can it's do snowing. The brakes. It's like snow. We can do the brakes now, Martin, knowing that our car is going to smell excellent. The like, combo actually works, though, dude. Yeah. I mean, look, I, I'm comparing it to Dear what the Civic Novak. Right make a. Well, they're not going to say, they're not make one. They'll just say, buy both of them and just double bang it like I did. So here are our. CRV calipers, there, we've got an, a, an assortment of stuff to make it work, like What are these performance shims for, performance shims. It's to shim them into the right spot, is my understanding. Okay. I don't know that There's for sure. There's a lot of them. Um, and, what do I do with them? And these, yep. we need them. Yep. And we've got, for the back, so we have the back ones, which, I mean, look, they're probably okay just to cruise around them, but we're going to do them some mad driving. So, ah. discs, they may be just fronts. Maybe just there's some rear somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, that's what we need. This is my new favourite thing. Spray and stay, which is basically like a spray grease. It's Does so it good. Does it fix that? I don't know, just spray it in there and check. No drip formula, 12 times longer protection, WD-40. Do it. Once over the show. Do it. And take that, spray that, stay that. Spray like and stay. Because sometimes they get, the paint gets in them. Is that fixed it? Oh. Oh! It's only the clunking well, it's, noise. That strap, on. that actual strap will be mounted. Good. Break time.
schmuck thing in there. Braided lines going in for maximum Honda stopping power. All right, so I'm just putting these on hand tight at the moment, these braided lines. Um, later on, we'll um, talk them up because they do have very specific settings that they need to be uh, tightened up to. And uh, we don't want to break those banjo bolts, which is a thing that you could do if you just were hanging off it. So that's on. That's on. How are you going, Martin? Were you winning back there? I'm you winning. had to rebuild got, some brakes. I just got the seal. The seal had popped out of that caliper, so the seal looks like it's going to go back in. So I'm going to slap the front brakes on, my friend. Sweet, man. That's awesome. together. So, pads go in that way somehow. These look a little bit like Subaru calipers. I would even suspect that a similar company, if not the same company in Japan, is making Honda and Subaru's bit. They're double dipping, man. They're double dipping those calipers, but that's a nice, neat, easy upgrade. I love that. I love that that's a factory mod. CRV calipers on a Civic equals bigger service area, bigger discs, just a little bit of fiddling. I think that's really clever. If you're doing this at home and you want to paint that any color you want, blue, red, black, frog gooch, greeny brown, Now's the time. Well, now is the time to do that, and we yeah. have a whole video which you can click on the thing, which is how to paint your calipers. Because so we're not we're not completely 100% on our uh, paint uh, theme yet, so we're just going to slap it all together and make sure everything works, and then maybe maybe these will get some love later. Martin, I read the YouTube comments. Uh, oh no! I did. No, I did. No, I know we don't often, but I had a look. Martin, people like the orange. They like that orange colour there. I like that orange, orange, but not on the Civic. Because we, it's been we've done, done it. dude. We've done we've it. Done yeah. it. And it's on the Lambo. It's we on have, Twisted. We, it's on Twisted, which is like a Lambo. Uh, we've That's got an idea for colour as well. Um, or it might say orange, Martin. Look, let's be honest. <laughs> we don't actually know. Let's we never not make know. any promises yet. We never know. Um, Look at that. Yeah, man. Dude, that's going to be like good. Bought one. We I'm, need this. A bit of trimming got to happen, though, I think. We need this, Martin. Need what? Oh, yeah. And then maybe an angle grinder. I think we're going to have to trim that heat shield a little bit though. Just to make it, oops, ah! Sorry to get you. Oh, it sounds a bit rubby. Yeah, they're going to need some love. If we were going to go full Honda spec, we'd just remove that mutton or just really? hit it with a hammer. I just, I don't know how On I my WRX, these. every track day, those ones would start. Oh, really? Yeah, or walking you up. You can get rid stuff. of them. You can get rid of them. But we're not going to be doing track days in this anyway, are we? Of course we are. Yes. So the heat shields aren't going to work just because the offset of where the brake disc sits in relation to the caliper is slightly different. So we're just going to gently sort of massage uh, the screws out of this thing to get it out of the way. Sweet. Put that, Martin. In the bin. Huh? Yeah. So. Like a glove, Martin. Like a glove that doesn't fit that well. <laughs> so the calipers just have to be spaced ever so slightly. Off. This is what I'm going to do right now. All right, the old brake line is coming out. And our new brake line is going in. And the schmutz from it is going all over my foot. And in it goes. And then that one just gets bolted onto the back of our new Epic Upgrade DC2 CVR Type R caliper. Oh, dude, it sounds so hondery. Civic, doesn't it? CVR2 Type R. Something out of a game like one of those like hectic... An know, excellent game. PS1 games or something. But I never played because I'd never PS1. Um, but. Did you have an Xbox? No. Oh, I bought an Xbox really late oh, in the game. Oh, no. No, no, really late oh, in the game. Oh, because remember we worked out I had a Sega and you had a Nintendo and it was really hard for us to be friends. And now you're all Xboxy and I'm PlayStation. Yeah, you are. 
Oh no, you don't own an Xbox now, do you? Oh yeah, I don't use it, but yeah, I do have one. But you actually own one? Yeah, I own one. Oh dude. There's people own Xboxes. Oh, there. I liked being friends with you though, Xboxes Martin. Xboxes are awesome. There's we don't have to get tribal about it, do we? <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> Isn't that what people do? You, you've got a Honda. I've got a super. <sighs> <laughs> no, we can't be mates. No, we need to band together as a community of like-minded enthusiasts, Martin. That's right. And then do a bunch of burnouts like a bunch of dickheads and then claim we're just part of the community. <laughs> <laughs> Something that keeps happening with this Honda. Occasionally, you go to put a part on it and guess what? Doesn't fit my Honda. Now, the whole point is that it's supposed to fit my Honda. That's why we got a freaking Honda in the first place. For this will fit my Honda, but it's not happening for me. Maybe it works. It only fits in the bin. <laughs> well, plenty of the parts fit in the bin, but we sort of expected this might happen. Taking stuff off, as we know, is super easy. Throwing it is super easy. Um, refitting stuff is not. Partly because we don't have some of the original factory parts to compare to. So for a good example, brake lines. On a Honda, for whatever reason, they look pretty much the same front to back. There's like maybe a 10 to 15 mil difference in length, but the fittings are otherwise the same, except one's got a little angle on it. Now the front, and back both fit the front and the back but not properly and so if you don't know which it is you just end up scratching your head wondering why the front and back look so similar and that's why we should put this whole project no we're not gonna we're that's not that's why we should put this whole project we're not gonna do that because we're gonna defeat we have to win man we have to defeat it anyway so rebuilt the brake caliper that's I'm all on my good. WRX was... back <laughs> used to be my golf now it's a WRX anyway no I like that was this. so a beat the brake caliper um, we're at the point where we can put our braided lines back on. I've got to finish doing the other side. And then we've got a rolling car again, which is pretty exciting. So that's where we're up to. We thought we'd be pulling engines apart already today. And so far we've managed to do... Four braided lines. <laughs> and, a, and one brake caliper seal. So um, I'm going to... So should you buy someone else's project car? Or should you put it... In the bin. The answer is... In the bin. I'm, come, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to let it beat me it's tomorrow. It's not tomorrow I'm coming on back. the internet, man. Tonight, I'm, no, I'm going to spend all night on the internet trying to work out how to make this stuff fit my Honda. And it's going to fit my freaking Honda. And tomorrow, I'm going to fit it. Tomorrow, I'm going to start yanking that engine to bits. And we're going to make some progress. Hey, Martin, something just occurred to me that was very, very poignant and sad. Other than our friends on the YouTubers over there, I do not have any friends in real life, not one, with a Honda. Do you? No. All the people want to see is the Civic make VTEC noises, and we have a responsibility to make the Civic make VTEC noises. Dude, we want more than that. The world needs VTEC. We want VTEC. wheels, we want paint, we want we go on there. interior, or at least a seat, a racing seat. Make it all mad. We need to make this a car that you wouldn't be embarrassed in. <laughs> which on another topic, which I think is also happen. important. On another topic, which I also feel is important to at least cover off a little bit. Since uh... purchasing this car, I've received messages from four different people who all say it was their car. Now, there's a few problems with that. One, the car's either been through four people in quick succession. The other problem is at least three of those people are all P-platers, which means it just was on a P-plate like swap, a P -plate swap frenzy. mission, P-plate frenzy. Um, and the other problem is one of the ex-owners said, oh, I know why it smells. Oh. And he messaged me and said, I got stuck in a king tide, which is where the water goes really high. That's why it smells like low tide. <laughs> it smells like high tide, dude. Yeah, you, you we know were right. So apparently we this thing was it. stuck in water, like early in the morning he was cruising along car stopped or something happened, I don't know, and it got stuck and had to get a tow truck, but it was like the middle of the night and had to go to work, and so the tow truck... Anyway, long story short, the It's car filled up with water and frogs. Filled up with water and salt water, most likely, and that's why wow. it stinks. So, that's... But the only other problem is, another owner said that they've owned it the whole time, which is concurrent on the same timeline as that story, which... Which... I don't, I don't know. I don't this know is like believe. a game of Cluedo, but with Honda owners. What a nightmare. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? I don't know who to believe. I'm a Honda owner. It was You're a Honda owner, sort of. Down the straight with a piston. That's a Cluedo in the library with the candlestick reference. Martin, I have um, successfully removed and reinstalled these braided lines because they were wrong. So but they are like five mil different. They look almost identical. They look almost the, identical. We don't have the factory lines to compare to. No. But um, we worked it out. But the 
front ones are longer for people who are wondering when they do it later. Just in case you didn't because know. Because it was very, very hard to find the information of where they go. Well, I'm going to smash this front CRV caliper on this side. Um, it's worth noting also that when you, like yesterday when I cleaned out the um, caliper, I've had to do the same thing on the other one because brakes you always do as a pair, everything you do. If you re-seal them, check them, whatever it is, always do front and left because you don't want one outperforming the other because that would suck. So I'm just going to take this heat shit off because it doesn't quite fit. Apparently you can make this fit, but ours looks like it's been dropped or like something. So it's all bent up and in pretty bad shape. So I'm going to take it off. It's just going to be easier rather than worrying about things later on squealing and making noise. And you know where it's going to go, Martin? In the bin! So that can come off, caliper on, disc on, and then we're, we're ready to play engines, man. Yes, that's Hello. what we're ready for, Martin. That's, this, is, this is why we're here. We are. Really. For the Honda power. It's not about handling, it's about Honda engineering and the engines and all that. Crazy non-turbo VTEC that everyone what? loves so much. I thought it was about the handling. I thought that's what Hondas were. Sure. Isn't that the thing? We've yep. always said people with slow cars pretend it's about the handling. <laughs> I'm not saying Hondas are slow, but I'm saying that's the thing. Normally people, yeah. when they've got a slow car, they're like, oh, it handles. But we've talked about this before. But it handles. Unless it's a Lotus, they're actually fast well, and they're handle fast well. And, they handle. And, and Hondas handle and they're fast, don't they? Yeah. I don't know. We'll find out. Well, do you know there's only one more thing we need, Martin? Honda friends. We got no Honda friends. That's what we've no ascertained. We don't, no, no. we don't have any friends that have Hondas. Honda I don't friends. know if that says more about them or about us. All right, quick. We We're going to smash this together. Ready? Right, Three, yep, two, go one, Martin. go. In the bin. Civic update time, brakes are done. Suspension is done. The only thing left is to actually put the fire rod ends into the thing and then that is a rolling shell once again. Rear brakes on, we will get some new discs, some matching ones that are the same as the front and then we'll stick some wheels on it, maybe some K-truck wheels just to actually make it move. And so next we're gonna be lifting that, no, not that one, that one. We're gonna separate the gearbox off it. We're gonna lift it up. We're going to stick it on an engine stand so we can get to it properly, twirl it around, make sure all the gaskets and stuff and everything on it are good. Now's the best time to do that. There's one more thing we have to do for our brake upgrade as well, which is we have a different master cylinder. So apparently the proportioning's different um, when you put these bigger brakes on, so you need an upgrade, which we'll just slap on. That's an easy thing to do, but we'll do that before the engine goes in the car. How are you doing over there, mate? Um, yeah, pretty good, mate. <laughs> that one trying to go on holidays? Yeah. You know, um, I saw a couple of people asking Martin, they were like, why are we putting the B16 in it? Why aren't we case swapping it? Well, because this whole video is about finishing off someone else's project. Mm. If there was like, wouldn't matter what engine it was, whatever we got is what we're trying to do. We're trying to get this thing and release it back into the wild. Or, or keep it, you know, but it's the idea is to kind of catch it and fix it and really because you, there's a hundred different things that you could do And I think mm. the first thing that a lot of people do like on the internet is they go you should gay swap it yes. Like back in the day you should LS1 and then once a lot of people have done that which I, LS1's great You know works does what yeah. it has to do But then when there's enough YouTube videos about it people who've never done it then go don't do that That's boring, but they're talking about a boredom of watching it that's not actually talking about the bottom of doing it or driving, driving it, it or which driving is like it. the important thing. The so other thing we're saying is this is not like a stock D series single cam, no VTEC. You know, like it's it is actually an upgrade, and for a long time this was a pretty um, significant upgrade. So yeah, we're we're just gonna see what happens. Really, I'll give you a hand moving that thing, man. Yeah, we just need to set it. Let's get a strap on it, eh? Get it up and out. Yeah, that can go where it needs to go. Then yeah, bring the crane over and we'll lift him. There is so much schmutz in, well, everywhere, in all the holes and various places. We need to get these legs up, don't we? At least one of them. To get in there. 
Yeah, or we just need to drag this engine off. You know what, why don't we just drag it off because the pallet's sort of in the way. Dump it there and then pick it up with the crane. Yeah, okay. One, two, three. <laughs> I can't believe that is what's in the front of that Mini. I know, man. It's oh, a big thing. It's huge. With the box on it, it's massive. Watch your foot. Oh, that was so close. Did it get you? Yeah, but only ripped my skin off. Oof. Yeah, good. All right. Have you ever heard the expression... <laughs> yeah. What? Pump up the jam. Pump up the jam. Here we go. Rise yeah. up. Rise up, B-Series. Rise up. Look at that. Are any Honda people just really excited right now? Well, they probably were until I almost broke it just then. But... Or is it just you and I that are excited, Martin? What we need to do is get this gearbox off. That looks like a mad shit fight, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to remove the gearbox. I remember this game from last time. This is no fun. We're going to have to move this strap because that's on the gearbox. So. Good. Try again. Okay, so the next job, we're just going to strip everything off the engine, get rid of all of this. All these wires, all of this, get it gone, then get access to the gearbox, take it off, put the clutch in, put it all back together. It's worth then, noting. Um, yeah. It's worth noting that we have actually have no idea if this engine even works. Yeah. It could be it's been sitting out of a car, well, according to the four different owners, for either a long time or not a long time, depending <laughs> who you believe. But uh, yeah, no idea. We haven't been able to comp test it because it's missing so much stuff we haven't been able to turn it over. So this is near where it, where it becomes about exploring what kind of motor we actually ended up with. And, I mean, unfortunately, you can't just go and buy another B16 cheap, you know, for a couple hundred bucks. Like, if, if this doesn't work, we're a little bit screwed. So, we'll just have to see what happens. Man, I just noticed we've got a Mugen Power sticker. Now, people were worried that we chucked a very rare um, loop, looped Mugen mm -hmm. muffler in the bin. How do you say Mugen? Mugen. We definitely didn't. It was just a... No, cheap it's just like a copy. cheaper China copy. Yeah, keep copy, so don't stress. Um, and it didn't go in the bin anyway, got recycled. I mean, went onto a car, I mean, got recycled. Martin, let's be totally honest, it went... In the bin! That is where it went, but it w went in the recycle bin. So this particular B16 is out of a CRX. Now, apparently, you could get B16As in Honda VTIRs, is that right? Because we had CXI, GLI, VTI, and VTIR is my understanding. I know too much about Hondas today. Um, our car like is the Del base Sol model. Like a Del or something as well, or is that a Japanese one? Del, I don't know. Well, CRX, Del Sol, kind of same thing, but different. Is it? Honda people are going to be jumping up and down. If you have a Del Sol or a CRX and I said it wrong, I apologise from the bottom of my balls. I don't apologise. We're just learning. Oh, from the bottom of your balls. Okay. We're just learning. So uh, that's what this engine is allegedly out of. Uh, and one of the 4X owners sent Wait me a picture and said, of? a CRX, Del right. Sol. Wait on. <laughs> Isn't it? I think a Del Sol is different to a CRX. Is it? Let's check the comments, Martin. Um, anyway, so one of the four ex-owners sent me a picture of a Del Sol and said, it's the engine out of this, and when I sold it, it had the B16 in it, but when the photos I saw from the owner that I bought it off, it had a D-Series in it, so that means someone would have had to put this B-Series in, take it out again, swap it back to a D-Series, and then sell it all separately. So none of it's making a whole lot of sense at the moment, but all I can tell you is this motor is festy. There is just crap all over it. It's really yuck. There's like obviously had oil leaks and it's 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 an old engine. It's to be expected. How are you going with the loom, mate? Look at this, Martin. That's all gone. Look how clean and stinky it is now. It's looking a bit better, isn't it? it smells like fish. Yes. Oh, take the that. The sound is so good. And take that. Yep. And now take this. Oh. See you, mate. There it goes. See you, mate. There Get it is. this party started. All right, engine going up. We've undone some of the bell housing bolts, and now the strap is just attached to the engine. So the gearbox will be free to fall off, but we've got to be able to get to the bolts underneath. So, she going up. Just enough to reach the bolts. The gearbox won't fall off because we've left that top one. 
we've left the top bolt till last, so we can do anything that's underneath. And then do that one last so it falls off in a way that we want. Oh yeah. Also going in from the uh, Like that. Yeah, actually. All right, so I think it's just, we'll bring it back down again. I think it's just that top one now. And it should wiggle off, hopefully. What about? Yeah, does that, does that, where well, bracket's got to come off so we can remove it now. Kind of is a different bracket. We need to mix and match. Oh, so this here, we don't need this anyway? If you can get it off, get it off, yeah. It's only in the way. Jack shaft, I think they call that thing. Cool. I reckon that'll split, man. Cool. Any other bolts? This is where we've got to make sure there's no sneaky bolts that are still hanging on. There's dowels, so it's going to be a little bit stuck on the dowels on this yep. side of these. It's being annoying. Makes me a bit sus how tight they are because they would only they've they're been rounded off before. So someone's had this out and made a mess of it. Totally rounded off. And this is why everybody you should buy someone else's project car. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah! What an absolute cock that was. It was just seized on the input thingy was just seized in the clutch and so it would not be removed. And this is rounded off and this is rounded off. Anyway, time for lunch. That was a pain. Dude, look how full of oil that is. I've never seen anything so oily. He's bleeding on the floor. Um, it was just a bit stuck, but seems to be good. So we just lifted the engine up and now the old clutch can come off and it looks like it's been sitting for ages. And you can see it was a bit corroded in there and that's why it was getting stuck. Just a bit grubby. It's usually why you lube up the shaft when you put them on so that when you take them off again, then they don't fight you quite as much. Yeah. Now it's ready to go, Martin. In the bin. I have seen worse, but that's pretty burnt. So that's, that's had a tough life. Is there any engine that spends its life in a Honda hatchback that has not had a tough life? It's just getting smashed, man. Bad. They're just, they're literally just taking their mufflers out, taking their decats out, waiting for Captain Decap to come and kick him in the dick. <laughs> Like, well, as if it wouldn't be. It's a B16, as if it wouldn't have been thrashed to an inch of its ball sack. Can I give a demonstration of why that is so worn out? It sounds a little bit like this. So you're sitting at the lights, bar, 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 in your B16B. Yeah. VTEC. But yes. then when you change gear, like it's, it's always, the clutch is just copping it, isn't it? Isn't that why you're meant to be heel and towing? That's what everyone Apparently. told us, Martin. But so the thing is, if you're shifting at like 9,000 RPM, like that's deep, the only place you shift deep in your VTEC territory, then when you shift, if you just get that a bit long or wrong or your clutch is not quite adjusted right, like it's gonna be, it's just gonna be copping it. Bam! Front wheel drive VTEC in a straight line. No, you're quite right. Anyway, Martin, talk to us about VTEC. Honda things because so, we're all really interested. I want to show you. Well, you should be interested because V16s are awesome. I'm very interested. So here's a few things I want to show you straight away that are going in the bin. We've got like an idle control of some description here or a coolant bypassy warm up idle thing. In the bin. We don't need it. We've got heater core that we need to put some new hoses on. They look like they're a bit wrecked. They um, can go. This uh, TPS is boned as well, just totally gone. In the bin. That, whatever that is, probably a pressure sensor. In the bin. This in the bin, in the bin, in the bin. In the bin. bin. You can either hack your Honda ECUs. I understand the Honda ECUs are quite capable, and I understand that's a thing, and that people are into them, these things. But we're not going to do that for a couple of reasons. One, I like using aftermarket ECUs because the adjustability. Two, because there's one sitting in a box right there. And three, because it means we can utilize some cool modern stuff like electronic throttle. And electronic throttle means we can control this with a motor. We're gonna be utilizing an aftermarket ECU so we can do e-throttle, so we can do monitoring, so we can do logging, so we can get rid of this vacuum and pressure sensor. We can get rid of the TPS. We don't need that anymore. We don't need the idle control circuit. We can really simplify it and make it really easy to use, make it really easy to tune. 
delete some of this sort of old crappy stuff out. We can even get rid of the distributor, which is awesome as well. So no more distributor, no more ignition leads. We can have coil pack ignition, which is a bit new. We can run full sequential everything. Big injectors, it means if we ever turbo it, that's something we can do way easier. Um, so that's what's gonna happen, people. So we're just gonna take the rocker cover off and have a look at what is underneath. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, of course, but I reckon big chunks of metal and other things that aren't meant to be there, you know, could be, could be a thing. If you wanna paint your rocker cover, because it does like transform the look of your engine bay, we have a whole video on that. Click on the thing and check it out. Anyway, Martin, let's um... What That's reason... not doing. <laughs> Great. One reason you would also consider taking this off is Firstly, some of them are finger tight. And secondly, is there's this oil coming out. Can you see there's this oil coming out? Is um, that, what, that one's, that one's spinning the stud, <laughs> I think, but then the stud's not actually coming out. Well, you know there's nothing I mean? to do but keep, keep on doing, I don't think. Maybe put some pressure underneath it. I reckon we're going to have to do that and right. pry at the same time. Good. This car's the gift that keeps on taking. Yeah, but it's beginning to fight, isn't it? Like, it's been reasonably good, but it is beginning to fight. Why is it unfinished in the first place? You do start yeah, asking no, yourself it's, those it's questions. It's because they couldn't finish it. Maybe. So much stuff was broken. Well, that's it. And all this stuff adds up. Like, if you keep running into stuff that's broken, it all costs money to fix. And it's easy to just run out of budget. This car is so shit. Great. Seriously. <laughs> it's so shit. I guess I just cut that off. I don't know, man. What do we do? Yeah, I suppose. No. It's not doing, is it? No. That's munted. That's what do you actually do? properly dicked. 7 1 rule. You seen this? The what? 7 1. Watch this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Is all this stuff supposed to fall out of the engine? 7 hits. 1 beer. This is the thing. A, w Get a that. what? Get that. It smells beery. That. Come on. Now you just yell at it. <laughs> that actually worked. Wow. Yes. Oh, look at the VTEC in there. There's VTEC in there, dude. That's VTEC. Mugen power. How do you say it? I think oh. it's Mugen. I don't like it sitting there, though. Do you oh, mind if it's I just because it? it's like a fake badge thing? Yeah. It's not is it, though? I don't know. It's not even a skew morph. Are you sure it's, it's not, not like Mugen. ours is some Series 1, Revision 1? B16 thing, and that's actually meant to be there. You reckon, I reckon I that's leave straight it? off eBay? It's someone tell us, and next episode I'll remove it. If I want to know real. if that's like a special thing or not. Is it real or not? So the VTEC's in there somewhere. Mysterious VTEC valves and cams that move around and do different things at revs, and got a switchy thing here that switches thingies. A VTEC and you can choose where your VTEC comes in as well, like with the tune, like with yeah. the Haltech on the Mini, like you can choose when you start VTECing. I think there's a point where it's not worth it, like it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't do make anything. Sense. Yep. But um, yeah, all right, well, I reckon we flip it over. That's, That's got, wow, look, can you see in there? Yeah. It's just full of like a bird's nest. That's gross, man. This will need a big clean out, I reckon. Like blow so it all why, out. So why would that have actual organic material in it? Like that's got leaves and twigs in it. Why? It's been left outside and it's been left... But with no lid on it. No rocker cover. You wouldn't have to leave it outside for long. It wouldn't take long. But yeah, you can tell. Look, there's, there's twigs and crap Spiders. everywhere. And twigs like going into injector ports and dirt and stuff is not great. So that's all right. We'll clean it all up. I'm going to flip him over. We'll probably bucket oil out through the top. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Good catch, man. Yeah, I missed half of it. It was a great That's catch. Right. Rip that sump off and see what's going on. Put a new gasket on it. Or a new schmoo, whatever it requires. Dude, it's missing some already. I don't think that stuff we pulled out, is it? No. Maybe. Oh, maybe it's to do with the little halt. No, they go there. I have no idea. What are you most excited about with this car? Hitting VTEC for the first time and knowing that I'm going to have that combination of utter joy and utter disappointment at the same time of going, oh wow, this is slower than every car I own. Yes. Except maybe, maybe it'll be faster than the Mira and maybe it'll be as fast as the Super Turbo. <laughs> oh, it'll be faster than that, won't it? Super Turbo makes 70 kilowatts, dude. Will this make 70 kilowatts? Won't this make like 120? I hope so. I don't know. 100? Should do 100, shouldn't it? Well, I hope so. I'm going to put these 
when we lose them later, this is not a test. Not in the chair. No, don't no. Don't put them in the chair. This is a test. No. To show you all. Never put vaults way. somewhere you can't. Gone. Gone. Gone we don't have to forever. worry about them anymore. Gone forever. All right, let's see. Let's check the quality and condition of our beast of an engine. Here we go, Martin. <laughs> this is the first time we actually get to see kind of what we paid for, right? Yeah, I guess so. Like where our money went. He's Good. loving life, this guy. Look at him. He's so happy. <laughs> I know he actually looks very worried. <laughs> I would too. He just can't handle the VTEC. That one and that, and that one. That should just pop off now. Oh. oh, there he goes. I can't stop looking at this guy, man. Oh, really? He's... That's VTEC personified, <laughs> isn't it? Look at him. I'm kind of excited and worried, but also disappointed. There, and have a little bath. Yeah, pretty, See, pretty mate. tough looking things. I understand why people like them. Like, it looks way more chunky than a lot of other engines. Got stock pistons and rods by the looks of it. I don't think we actually drain the oil, which is a fail. But um, good news is, there's nothing that's like moving around or looks dodgy. Like, it's all very... You know what I mean? Like if you got a, if you had a hectic bearing knock or something, you would see it and hear it because it go dog 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 dog. Yeah. Ask me how I know I own Subarus. Um, but yeah, that's that's cool. Nothing to see, which is what we want to see. But we'll put a new gasket on the bottom because it looked a bit leaky and shite. So we'll clean all that up and we'll re-schmoo it. It should be good. Excellent, Martin. Awesome. Um, I reckon what we need to do is clean that up. Let's investigate the flywheel situation. Throttle, flywheel, um, pedal, wiring, what else? Gaskets, rocker cover, gaskets, spark plugs. And that's before plugs, we even get into like interior triggering, and servicing stuff. Triggering, distributor delete, on the top of my head, there's more. But that's, that's all the stuff that we are up to basically, yeah. yeah. Um, so thank you for coming with us on this Sweet. disrespected ride. Uh, and um, we're going to see what's required, order a bunch of stuff which we don't have. Uh, and then next time, the engine's going to be in. We're going to be smacking this be thing excellent. in. We're going to be putting our bits on our engine and we're going to be putting that engine in the vehicle. So thank you very much for those that have been coming along with us on the Honda ride. You will be VTECing with us. We will be farting out rainbows all day, all night. You'll be with us in the back seat. Like metaphor metaphor metaphorically. Metaphorically. <laughs> that. Erotically. <laughs> Met Meta erotically. Met erotically. <laughs> All right. See you, everyone. Bye. Bye.